so everyone could watch TV together and be buddies. That is literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Let me handle this. That idea is just the worst. So there's your ticket totals dotted for another week. But feel free to join us again next time for another Top 10 show. A quarter of a million pounds, 22 identical sealed boxes, and no questions, except one. Deal or no deal? Monday start of another week for Deal or No Deal. Some call it the Red Box Club, others call it an entertainment drama. I think that's a bit nearer to it, actually, because in this show we always have a central character, one of these 22 players who will face all sorts of challenges. And then we have a villain waiting in the wings, you know who, wanting to bring the curtain down prematurely on the player's game. We had an amazing Saturday show, and unfortunately, it didn't work out for Jim. So I really hope whoever comes up here now has an absolutely fantastic game and a wonderful start to the week. We're about to cast the player in today's production. The 22 boxes are filled. The independent adjudicator has put the money out there somewhere. 22 different sums of money, which you can follow on the game board we have two members of the 1P Club. We do not, so far, have a member of the Quarter of a Million Club. Maybe it's going to happen on this Monday. Let's choose the star of Deal or No Deal for a new week. It really is lights, camera, action for Barbara. There you go. Thank you. Ah, let me say it for you. It all looks very different from here. It looks pretty much the same to me. Anyway, welcome. It's the big moment. Thank you. And your husband Richard is here. Hello, he Richard. He is. Thank you. And you're both publicans? We are. Where is that? It's in the West Midlands. Yes. But I, Ray, but I better not tell you too much because if I get the 250, I'm going to get begging letters. No, so. I wouldn't send you a begging letter. <laughs> so you're just being vague. Somewhere in the West Somewhere Midlands. Somewhere in the West Midlands. Right. And if you do become our first quarter of a millionaire, what would you do with the money, Barbara? I would like to have a little B&B &B by, by the sea, uh -huh. um, or a small hotel. And that would be a life-changing amount. Would you take Richard with you? No. <laughs> yes, I would. I would. I would. I would. I would. Yes. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got two kids, Philip, who's 15, and James, 11. I have. They obviously mean a lot to you. What they else have gorgeous. you got here? I've spent a lot of time with Sajila, mm -hmm. as we know from the show the other night. And I wanted her to be here for my show. And because she's She's gone. gone. She's gone. She's I gone. I thought I'd bring her with me anyway. Yeah. She's good support for me, so I've brought her with me. And you don't have to read it, but I brought a little note from Sam, which wished me luck and reminded me to stay positive and use my initial instinct. Are you quite a positive lady? Very positive. Shall we crack on with the game on this Monday? Why not? I've got a good feeling about this. There's a very, very positive atmosphere here. I just need you to do one little bit of housekeeping <coughs> and confirm that box eight was chosen by you at random before we started the show. 
It was indeed. Sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all of the boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. And he doesn't. And that is really important that the pound fondler is in the dark just as we are. Barbara, do you have a system? Um, no, I'm going completely at random, starting with all the blues first and leaving the last five reds till last. Good tactic. That's a very, very good system. <laughs> and I know it can be a little bit off-putting, but don't forget that box 21 is in play. Helen's not very well, but uh, hopefully she will be back tomorrow, so we wish her well. Nothing too serious, but we miss her. Okay. However, the box is there, and either Matt or Julia. Hello, Julia. Hello. Welcome to your first game. Thank you. Either one of them will open the box when you decide to select it. OK. So you might as well start. I knew there were a lot of boxes when I came up here, but I didn't know which one to go for. Um, right. Um, Sandra, number three, please. Okay. I really like blue. Good luck, Barbara. Thank Sandra, you. Sandra, please open box number three. Yes! <laughs> Great start. 500 pounds. Lovely start. Number 14, please. Looking rather flamboyant today, Pat. Are you in a rather flamboyant mood? I'm always in a flamboyant mood. Oh, sorry, darling. <laughs> oh, sorry, darling. Do please open box 14. <laughs> Good luck. 100 pounds. Aaron, 16, please. Aaron, the mathematician, our statistician. If you'd like to open box 16, we would, like, we would like it to be... Her sister. <laughs> hey. You realise something, Barbara? We have never, ever had an all-blue round one. No pressure. <laughs> you look good there. Thank you. <laughs> Janet, number one, please. Hiya, Janet. Is this actually going to be the fourth box in a row that's blue? And are we going to have a little bit of history? Please open box number one. Good luck, Barbara. Willing it to be blue. No. Oh. She's hit red and the biggest. Quarter of a million. You can look at it now, Janet. Don't worry, Janet. Ooh. Don't worry. Never mind. One Another more. one. Um, right. OK, for Marilyn, number two, please. I must say, you look very elegant as well on this <laughs> Monday. Oh, thank you. Barbara, remember what Sanjeeva said? OK. Thousand. Three blues, two reds. Well, we were denied. We were denied our first ever all blue opening round. How are you feeling about it? Not too bad. Mm -hmm. At some point, I want to speak to him if I can. Well, yeah, no. only he allows me to. Well, he doesn't always want to speak to the player. Hello. I'm fine, thank you. And how, how do we find you, banker, on this Monday? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so predictable. Go on. OK, thank you very much indeed. Um, yes, when he looks into those doughy eyes, yours not mine, and he's not talking bread, he's talking deer, um, it makes him realise there's a bit of steel there and he's looking forward to this battle. Four and a half thousand pounds. Four and a half thousand pounds, even though you've lost the power of the quarter of a million. I think that's a good offer. Yep. Aaron? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, yeah. Oh, look at the faces, though. Reluctant, very tardy applause there. It's. I think, considering I took out the 250. Um, it's quite a respectable offer. Yep. 
but I think he and I know that there's a long way to go. You, you're not going to become our first primary walker at mm. the first, first hurdle. You're not going anywhere, are you? Four and a half thousand pounds, Barbara. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> And now, where are we going with your intuitive style of play? Right. Now, it worked for Sam, and it worked for quite a few other people. So, when I do pick the next three boxes, if everybody in the audience and out front could just be thinking blue, hmm? I'd really appreciate it, especially once you open it and it's blue. Okay. Blue. Think blue. blue. Everybody blue. stare at the blue numbers, choose a, a number up there, stare at it, and let's see whether we can have an all-blue round. Um, Gary, number nine, please. Gary? What are you thinking? I'm hoping that it's blue. <laughs> please open box number nine. The best of luck to Thank you. Yeah. A lot of good that was. But luckily, <laughs> luckily, it could have been a lot worse. Where are we going now, Barbara? Uh, Dave, number six, please. Dave, what are you thinking? I'm thinking and hoping, Barbara, it's as blue to fill as you are, sweetie. Sincerely. Yes! <laughs> 250. 250. This is really, really important. If you touch another one of the uh, remaining Power Five, we've got a big problem. Steve, number 17, please. 17, Steve, is the publican from the West Midlands about to have a happy hour? Or is she going to fall into the banker's arms? The answer to those questions right after this break. Cometh the hour, cometh the inner steel that can come from only one place, a Ginster's peppered steak slice. Talk Talk's lowest price TV package now comes with three months of picture box films on us. That's 60 hand-picked films with seven fresh titles added each week. Our low price package gives you TV from UView, totally unlimited broadband and unlimited evening and weekend calls for £7.50 a month plus line rental. Your free UView box lets you enjoy over 70 channels and watch Catch Up TV on your TV. Plus, scroll back to see shows you've missed from the last seven days. That's TV, totally unlimited broadband, calls and three months of picture box films for just £7.50 a month plus line rental. Don't miss out. This offer ends on April the 2nd. Visit talktalk.co.uk slash TV or call us now on 0800 542 7347. Talk Talk, a brighter home for everyone. This is the story of you. It's about you, the mum. You from the market down the road. It's about you on the bus. And you with the ridiculous shirt on. And it's about us. Because if you've been hurt and it's not your fault, injury lawyers for you are the people you should call. We're here to give you advice and support and help you get your life back on track. Injury lawyers for you. We're for you. 
Years ago, the Twix founders had a falling out, so production was divided between two factories which each took a very different approach. Left Twix lavished caramel on biscuit, while Right Twix topped biscuit with caramel. Left Twix then covered it in chocolate, while Right Twix smothered it in chocolate. Today, they only share a wrapper and a driveway. Twix, try both and pick a side. Sorry, they're nutty. Nutty? Nutty! Kellogg's Crunchy Nut, tasty nutty flakes ruled by golden honey. Nutty! The trouble is, they tasteth too good. <laughs> I've done it all in Greg, apart from bake the bread myself and drive the lorry. I haven't driven that yet, but I've done everything else you can think of in Greg's. I'd love to see a chicken tikka pasty because I'm a spicy person. <laughs> <laughs> when people ask for Belgian buns, I just smile at them. Don't I? Yes. Meet the characters, hear the stories, and share the banter behind Britain's favourite high street bakery. Lovely jubbly. Greg's. More than meets the pie. Tonight at nine on Pick. This is a passage of time. It's where trivia surrounds you, and it makes you think again. You're up against it, and the pressure is on. Could you place these historic events on the year they happened? This is Timeline. Join me, Brian Conley, for a brand new game show exclusively on Channel. I have to say that this... This lovely lady is not easy to read. Still happy to go to Steve? Everybody, think blue, please. Think blue. Choose a blue number. Think it into box 17. Go. Yeah! <laughs> 50 pounds. That's better. <laughs> Implacable, a faint smile. Just look at the... But just look. Other than the loss of the giant one, that is an extraordinarily good game. It's a fabulous board. You could afford to smile a little more. <laughs> Too early to get excited. It is. Richard, what excites her? What breaks through this? What... Be very careful. <laughs> sure we, where are we going with this, Noel? <laughs> um, she enjoys her work, don't you, Barbara? I you, do. You enjoy the work, she does, yes. Loves the pub. What was the reaction of your, your regulars to the fact you were coming on here? Well... Richard said if anybody else came up to the bar and said, deal or no deal, he'd have to kill them. <laughs> it's going to get worse after this. <laughs> it will get worse. It's changed my life. I could tell you some really <laughs> weird stories about it. Hello, banker. And have you, have you looked there? Have you seen, <laughs> you know, this is a very strong game. Interesting observation. He claims, he's got all the stats, he claims that quite often when the quarter of a million is gone, it brings out the gambler in people. And he said for the publican, he's now offering a double. 9,000 now, from 4,500 to 9,000. Another very respectable offer. Are you looking at me that way because you just want to crack on? Or are you considering it? I can't read you at all. Don't want to rush you? No. Nine thousand pounds, deal or no deal? Let's now just pretend that these don't exist at all and find the other ones in the next three. Um, Kirsty, number 12, please. Kirsty, would you open box number 12, please? Good luck, Barbara. Thank you, Kirsty. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> By 
<laughs> Kirsty did you a fiver, and now we need two other players to do you a big fiver. <laughs> Next one. Matt, number 19, please. Ooh, that took a lot of thinking. Open the box, Matt. Good luck. Second largest. That's okay. okay. Hundred thousand is gone. The B and B has now seriously come in land. <clears throat> okay. Third one. <laughs> Should we get it out of the way now, Matt? <laughs> uh, can I have Matt number twenty one, please? <laughs> Okay, we wish Helen well. You can't do two reds in a row, I figured. This would be horrendous if you actually managed to do it twice. Thanks. <laughs> Matt, it's really quite simple. If we leave the block of six on the right-hand side, we are still in a very strong position. So £3,000 or anything blue. Thank you. £50,000. <laughs> It's now becoming a curse. No. Oh. OK, guys, Nick, what do you think? 9,000 last time. What on earth is <laughs> going to happen now? We took out the 100,000 and the 50,000. Really powerful boxes have gone. Oh, we've still got quite a healthy chunk there. We've got the 75,000, which is still a phenomenal amount of money. I think it's still a good board. Yeah? JT? He's going to wind her up. I reckon it'll be about six grand, but you keep going. I've done enough damage. <laughs> Sorry, honey. We're waiting for that. He's granting your wish. Oh. Hello. Oh, very well, thank you. <laughs> I'd be very pleased to show it to you. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, did you say that to her? I don't, I don't think it went in. Okay. Oh, he's irritated. Is oh, that what I he said to you? Yes, because he thought that you brushed the nine thousand away a little too quickly. Now, the last thing I wanted to do was irritate the banker. He's offering you two and a half thousand. It's very nice, isn't it? He is irritated. He oh, thinks yeah. that you were dismissive of his. I had a very good board at that point, though. I think you behave impeccably. I think it was exactly the right thing to do. But we are where we are. Mm -hmm. The loss of the 50,000 and the 100,000 at this point means that we're down at 2,500. Do you want to talk to anybody about it or run the risk that he's also going to think you're brushing this off and I'll ask you the question? Um, I can ask the audience and my husband but I have a feeling they're all going to say no deal anyway, but we'll ask them anyway. Just... Is there anybody who thinks that she should deal at two and a half thousand at this moment? Put your hand up, please, if you do. Not a single soul. Happy for the question? Two and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? Thank you.
And let's, let's bring some Sam yeah. magic. We'll all remember Sam, Saturday Night Sam. What a beautiful lady and a lovely Gorgeous. game. And the card that she wrote to Barbara says, It was so wonderful to see your beautiful smile every time I looked to my right last night. Thank you so much for your support and creating that amazing energy. You know, I truly wish you so much luck in your game. Enjoy it, lady. Loads of love from Sam. So let's just get that energy into this game now and have a round where we do not touch any more big numbers. Um, I'll go for Julia number five, please. Julia? We're transferring Sam's energy into box number five and it's going to be a good result. All the best, Barbara. The one P is gone. <laughs> and you know, I so wanted rid of that. Did you? I didn't want to be the first female branch of the One P Club. It's gone. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Only two members. <sighs> right, Sam's energy. Where's yep. it going to be directed right. now? Oh, this is a difficult one. Lucy, number 20, please. Can the positive energy now translate to box 20? Please open the box, Lucy. Good luck, Barbara. Yes! Yeah. 50p! Can Sam's positivity hold? Can we keep the positivity going for this round? It's really important. Third choice. JT, number 18, please. JT, she is applying a huge amount of thought to every single one of these decisions. And we are hoping that Sam's positivity is going to last. Because we have to take a break. And it's got to last for the next couple of minutes. Come back and see whether we can have the perfect round at the perfect time. See you in a moment. If you are a denture, make this simple test. Press your tongue against it, like this. It moves. Do you feel it? It can happen with many dentures. It's annoying, but you don't have to bear with it. You can try Fixident. Thanks to its formula, your gums become one with your denture, so it reduces movement of the denture and you forget about it. Try Fixident. It gives you ten times stronger hold. Fixident. Life with more bites. Programs on in ten. We can watch online later. <laughs> with our broadband. Yes, because I have changed our provider. How? Broadband choices. Broadband who? Broadband choices. They compare broadband. You said it was really complicated. No, I just popped in our postcode and they compared all the best broadband deals in our area. Impressive. Broadband choices. Broadband choices. We compare broadband. And over here we have the swimming pool, the spa centre, the pool bar. Yoga. Um, my favourite, the Sentido Golf Bar. Oh, cocktails. Restaurants, tennis courts, beach. Hello again. Hi. Hang on, have you been here with someone before? Her name's Jenny. I met her on live chat. What? On the Thomas Cook website. And she said this place has everything we need. Happy anniversary. That was last week. Save up to £400 on our May and June holidays. Let's go to thomascook.com at all protected. <laughs> right now, there's a free ebook on special bars of Galaxy. All you need is somewhere to enjoy it. <laughs> It's the most celebrated night in the movie calendar, featuring Hollywood's finest. Join Sky Movies Oscars as we bring you live coverage of the 86th Academy Awards. This is nuts. Coverage starts this Sunday from 11.30 with a live ceremony from 1.30 a.m. Thank you so much, guys. And catch all the highlights Monday from 9. Sky Movies, the exclusive home of the Oscars.
Everybody knows there's something wrong with him. You are upright only by the grace of this man's reputation. Everybody wants confession. And everybody's guilty. If you missed the start of True Detective, catch up before the next episode on demand. You're on to something new. Brand new True Detective, Saturday at 9 on Sky Atlantic HD. Welcome back here. Come on, hurry. Come nearer, come nearer, come nearer. It's Barbara's Day. And something's going on here. We had this wonderful card from Sam, who had this really spiritual game on Saturday night. And, you know, it just... It just feels very different here. You've taken out the 1P and the 50P, the two lowest numbers. We got Sam's positivity going in this room. JT, away you go. Open box 18. I hope so, Barbara. No, but it's fine. That's fine. wasn't blue. 3,000, that's fine. The positivity works. Happy? Relatively, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. What do you mean, relatively? I'd have preferred to take the pound and the ten pounds and... Um... Yeah, but you've got somewhere to go now. There's <coughs> another way to look at it. Mm-hmm. I can take those out next round if he doesn't give me a big enough offer. That would be the sort of thinking I would encourage. Risk, as against reward, as against timing. Maybe he's decided, time, gentlemen, please. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is an interesting offer. And I would estimate that this offer is because we've now moved into a gambling environment and he is concerned that she'll look at it and think, yes, there's more than one more deal and I will go on regardless. He is consequently offering you £11,500. I don't know what to say, Barbara. I think it's very personal to you two guys. Richard, do you want to come down and chat about it? Yeah. They want me to come back. Yeah. What are your thoughts? They want me to come back. It's a high offer. And if I take the 75 out in the next three boxes, it's going to go right down. Yeah. If you took a couple of blue then and left that 75. It'd go wrong. Right right. <laughs> Your glass is always half full, isn't it? Yeah. You're generally a lucky person, aren't you? Generally. You just got to hit those blues, three of them. All in a row. It's now just totally personal. It's totally personal to you. What just Barbara, what feels good for you at this point? Eleven and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> You're luckier than I. You're luckier than I. By all means, stay, Richard, and help with the decisions. I'll call you when I need you. Okay. Okay, Barbara. Let's all feel the Sam positivity for one more round. Jim, number ten. Yeah. We're going for blue, Bob. Okay. Blue, Best blue, one, Bob. blue, blue, blue. Yeah. This is quite a complex situation. What's it going to be? Fifteen thousand. That's all right. That's all right. 
that's why I said it's quite a complex situation. If what we're trying to get to is a really good walking offer next time, rather than the end of the game, yeah. that was OK. Alison, number 11, please. Alison, it would be lovely if you kept it hugely simple and just showed one of the three remaining blue numbers. Thank you, Alison. Thinking a pound for you. Please do. Best of luck. 10,000. <laughs> and that's all right. I really do think you're exuding exit time at the next <laughs> offer, and therefore you have actually kept the two most influential boxes in play. If you could now take a blue, and you have a choice of three, this is going to be a very interesting offer. Nancy, number four. Nancy, this is quite simply one of the most important boxes we've had for a long time, and we would like it to be a blue number. Please open it and make Barbara and Richard very happy. Well, well. It wasn't the 75. <laughs> Could have gone better. Could have gone worse. It could have gone a lot worse. Respect. Something that we crave from the banker, seldom get. He is not going to be sentimental at all about the two of you and the boys. Hello. Eight and a half thousand. That is a very, very difficult one. What's your gut instinct? I'd like to know what everything's like. Right, OK, we'll week. do a sweep first. Okay, then we'll do the audience. <laughs> Deal. Deal. No comment. Deal. No comment. Deal. No comment. Deal. Everything you've just said to me says deal. Went. Deal. Deal. No deal. 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 So helped. If you think she should deal, here, would you please stand up? Majority. Here, if you think she should no deal, stand up. Oh, that's pretty split. No, I think. Watching my husband very carefully at this point. <laughs> no dealers here, please stand up. No dealers. Richard, he's halfway. Like you you, you <laughs> can't crouch. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> any dealers here? Any dealers? Three. Any dealers here? Three. Thank you. Thank you all very much. We are rapidly getting to the point... ..where you've got to ask me the question. ..where you have to answer. You have to make a decision. OK, I'm ready. I can give you a bit longer if you want. Just not sure that giving you longer is actually making anything any easier. Barbara. Eight and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Wow. You've already, by making that decision, you have dismissed the negative games that we've had. First box of the vital round. What's it going to be? Johnny, number 13. Johnny, you've got three options. All blue. Where you go. Cheers, Good luck. 
No! Oh. This game, what on earth is it about this game that so often, right after a really brave decision, we shoot down the all-important numbers? The mega money's gone. £35,000 is a serious sum of money. Second box. Nick, number 22. Nick, sorry to do this to you. We want to hear a cheer, not a groan. Open box 22. Good luck, Barbara. Thanks, Nick. No! Oh. <sighs> Barbara, I'm so sorry. The worst, worst thing that could happen. Two out of three boxes, and the two biggest numbers have gone. So sorry. OK, we have, uh, we have to try and salvage something. We need you to select one more box, please. Pete, number seven. Pete, we still want you to open it with positivity. Thinking low blow for you, Bob. Oh! Absolutely extraordinary. The scenario that we talked about actually has come true. In order, you took out the three largest. And now the phone is going to ring. And he is going to offer three pounds. Three pounds, Barbara, deal or no deal? No deal. And I'm not going to mess about with this because we all know the sentiments and the emotions we've got here. You have a pound. I'm afraid you have joined. One pound club. Barbara, I'm so sorry. Richard, come down here, would you please? <laughs> sorry, it is a pound. <laughs> and would you open box 15, please? <laughs> Ten pounds is over there. <laughs> Barbara, I am so, so sorry. Richard, I'm so, so sorry. But you did play an incredibly courageous game. And at this moment, that is absolutely no consolation, I accept. But when you get back to the pub, you can at least hold your head up high and everyone is going to say you gave us one hell of a game and you did, at the time, what you thought was right for you. Barbara, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Thanks, And commiserations to a very plucky lady, Barbara Richard. Thank you. She wins a pound. And you are absolutely right. I dread this moment. There is no pleasure. You can see by the body language, it is horrible. We always want to beat the banker. We always want people to go away with meaningful sums of money. But we always have to recognise this is a game, and in every game there are winners and losers, and it wasn't Barbara's day. I hope you join us tomorrow. And once again, we will pick up our spirits, and hopefully, hopefully, the home of dreams will come true for somebody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Will you stop working and relax? I'm not working. I was posting a recommendation on the Thomas Cook website about the free Wi-Fi using the free Wi-Fi. Oh, well, I recommend make yourself useful. I recommend we raid the free ice cream trolley. A recommendation I fully endorse. Still got it. Save up to £400 on our May and June holidays. Let's go to thomascook.com at all protected. What do you think? Oh. It's new. I got it today. Wow, wow, wow. Look. It's got a life of its own. Oh, it but look what I got today. It's new Ooh. teasers. What is it? It's little pieces of Maltesers oh. in smooth milk chocolate. Oh, I want one. I'm mm. so jealous. Mm. Who's that? That's Tom. He's new too. Try new teasers. Little pieces of Maltesers immersed in smooth milk chocolate. Oh.
In a city of chaos, one man seeks justice. Oh, right. Live or die. It's up to you. Tell me where my wife is. Brand new Arrow, Thursday at 8, Sky 1 HD. Or watch it now on demand. Don't miss the Millers.